Hello Aries, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading, the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 9th to the 15th of March 2020. I hope you're well Aries. So I'm just pulling an overarching tarot card for you to see what the reading is. And what do we have? What is the message for Aries? 9th to the 15th of March 2020, thank you. Oh wow blessings you're being blessed guided can be a message of be open to receive this is beautiful Aries what a nice start <laughs> beautiful okay what do we have for Aries please angel spirits guides message for Aries for the week what is the energy Angel of Strength. Okay, I'm just going to read that out to you, Aries. Angel of Strength, personal power and inner strength. This amazing angel brings the news that this is a time of increasing power for you. It is not a time to be passive or submissive, but to speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. You are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny for the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond. Inner strength and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you to create real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and on your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and resolve to do what's necessary in order to make your dreams a reality. Beautiful. Okay, angels, what is the message for Aries, please? Message for Aries. This is 9th to the 15th of March, 2020. Oh, <laughs> we've got a celebration, reasons to celebrate. Your spirit needs to play and have fun could be reasons to celebrate there's a feeling of being in your power whatever you've been directing your power towards there is a feeling of some level of success here yeah angel of wealth financial flow comes easily to you powerful could be some advancement to do with your money, windfalls, luck. Um, can also be in terms of, I mean, it is the appraisal time, isn't it? Where people have appraisals in career and business. There could be some bonuses, uh, you know, very powerful energy. News on financial investments. Okay, so as usual, Aries. I pull five cards. I am using the Tarot of Dreams this week by Marchetti. And you know by now how I like my Marchetti. <laughs> so, okay. Wow, Ace of Cups, the first card out, your past position. So I pull the past, present, your challenge, advice from spirit and outcome. And then we will clarify with the Legacy Tarot by Marchetti. <laughs> so, we have the Four of Swords. In your present position, the magician is your challenge. Wow, the hierophant, advice from spirit, my goodness. And your outcome, the two of coins. Just move these over a little bit. Make some space. Okay, let's get clarifiers for the cards on the table, please. For Aries, please. 9th to the 15th of March 2020. For Aries. They're so slippy, they've got such high gloss on these cards. <laughs> okay. 
Let's clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Okay, oh, four cards. You know, there's too many there. I just really want one. One to two. Thank you. We've got the Two of Swords. The Four of Swords, Aries. Your present is clarified by justice. I'm going to pull one more for that one. Death. The Magician, your challenge. It's clarified by the King of Coins. The Hierophant, card of Taurus. Oh wow, there you are. There you are. Wow. The Hierophant, and this is really powerful. And the Two of Coins. <laughs> Judgment. Three of Swords is bottom of the deck. And I kind of understand what is going on here, so that's good. Um, you are absolutely being give, given blessings, you know. The Ace of Cups is where God, the universe, the divine is pouring divine love into you. I mean, this is just, you're being shown love, spiritual love, spiritual guidance, spiritual blessings. Now, the ace of love can be about self-love, emotional rebirth for some of you, moving on from a situation that was emotional. Uh, can also be about opening up to new friendships, new love opportunities, new relationships, even... Um, opportunities or offers maybe that are coming in that bring you joy, happiness, something that you really want. Uh, can also be about new pets, Aries. The Two of Swords is somebody who, it, it is a Libra energy, this is the Moon in Libra. You know, with the Justice card being here, some of you could have had dealings with a Libra. Um, this is not being able to make a decision. There's a feeling of indecisiveness here and there is at the beginning and end of your reading. Um, indecisiveness on opening up to new opportunities. For some of you, it might also be about expressing your truth. The need to express your truth and not holding back. Whatever this is, it is about trusting your intuition be between both of these cards now to guide you forward. There's a big message with the Two of Swords that the answers aren't in your external world, they come from within. So trust your intuition to guide you forward to something far more fulfilling in your life. But there is about, I certainly feel for some of you, it is... It can, some of you might want to express your truth or might be holding back in the past from expressing your truth. Speaking your mind, maybe. Saying what you really feel. The Four of Swords can be about recharging, recovering from a situation. Could be to whatever this Two of Swords is to do with. Um, this can be about respite from conflict as well. So there could have been some conflict. And this can be about recovering in your mind, in your inner world. Um, it can also be about in your external world if there has been some conflict that you've had to deal with. There's a big message that you're getting your head around it, you're getting perspective and you're seeing the way forward now. Having gone through um, a period of feeling stuck maybe for some of you. You know, this is real powerful karma. I mean, with judgment here, justice, death card, I mean two cards of Pluto, then we have the, the justice card as well. You know, some of you might have been treated poorly in a situation or felt you weren't given the opportunity to speak your truth or 
Yeah, I just I just feel for some of you, there is a there is a feeling here of of karma at play. It is some of you could have gone through a deep change in your situation. I mean, sometimes this is about one door needing to close for another one to open Aries. So whatever this justice was, there could have been something that needed to end in order for you to open up to the new. But it has been a journey for some of you. The justice card is a card of Libra. So a Libra, we have a card of Scorpio here. So like I said, those could be energies or people that you've been dealing with. There's powerful karma behind you. Uh, the universe is saying wrongs will be righted. Uh, karma always writes wrongs, the universe always writes itself. Some of you could have been waiting for a decision to bring an end to a situation. There could have been a decision that allows you to see a way forward now, uh, restore balance in your life, all of this kind of energy. But the Justice card can also be about you getting balance back in your life, Aries. Having gone through a period of something ending or deep change, deep transformative change, um, one door closing, another one opening. Uh, you know, the Phoenix, this is the Phoenix Rising card. The Phoenix rises from its own destruction. It destroys the old in order for the new to come in. Whatever this was, and we have heavy Libra and energy here, um, it is time for you to rise in your own light. This can be a feeling of a comeback. This can be about stepping into your light. Yeah, and I just feel that it is, whatever you've been through, it has made you stronger. It has made you more aligned to your true self. It has made you really deeply transform into something far more powerful. Whether you realize it or not yet, some of you might still be getting your head around it, but it is a time absolutely to make space for the new. Shed an old skin, whatever this energy was here, shed an old skin. Because the magician, and this is your challenge, the magician is the first step, the first numbered major arcana. The fool before the magician is number zero, the magician is number one. So sometimes this can be the, the new beginning, the first step on the journey. And this is sometimes where a path is revealed, a new path is revealed, Aries. But some of you are, you know, you are in that process of recovery, getting perspective of this situation or whatever happened. The magician is, do you realize your own power? Because some of you don't. You know, when the magician appears in your challenge, some of you don't realize your own power to deeply transform your situation. I mean, honestly, Aries, I have to say, you have... I mean, the King of Coins, the card of Scorpio, you have the Death card, you've got Judgment. These are deep rebirth energies. Somebody who understands how to advance themselves in change, in deep change. The Magician is, understand your own abilities from within, that you already have, to deeply take action and transform your situation in your external environment. There's a big message that you are the Magician here but you don't quite know it. You're still understanding how to use your tools, experience knowledge. You know, we have the cup, you have the intuition, the guidance from the universe, the love, the, the direction that's being given to you by the universe, the God, the divine. You have the sword's energy, truth, um, the logic, the reasoning, to your advantage. The pentacles, the practical skills, knowledge, know-how, experience, and the ones, the energy drive, the fighting spirit, the passion. Combined with the divine energy, it is time to work your magic and understand these tools exist within you to transform something that is base metal into gold. The time is now when the magician appears. He's saying you are the alchemist of your life. The King of Coins is a card of Scorpio. It can be to open up to new opportunity, whatever this Ace of Cups is. You know, the King of Coins holds the Ace of Cups here. Um, but it might well be to open up to new love or something that brings you joy or something that you really want. You know, all of this kind of energy. But the King of Coins is somebody who masters his inner world. He masters his emotions from within. He is mastery. He is achiever. Um, in order to achieve in his external environment. 
And, you know, there's a real feeling of happiness, contentedness, contentedness. Um, just uplifting energy with the King of Coins, energy. He's somebody who really understands how to bring happiness, fulfillment into his life by taking action, by connecting to his own power, abilities. Because, you know, Aries, for some of you, I mean, you know, Taurus is a sign of stability and success and you're being told to take action to bring greater stability and success to your life. Um, you know, very good message in terms of money, career. But, you know, this energy of the Hierophant is, can be about spiritual faith, can be about also having faith in yourself for those who aren't spiritual. You are being guided by God, the divine, the universe. This is absolutely beautiful energies. I do feel it ties in with this blessings card being bestowed on you right now. You know, the Hierophant is looking over your card here in the advice from spirit. And you have blessings in this message here. You are strong enough. It is time to know your power because the Queen of Wands is your energy. It's card of Aries, somebody who knows their power, somebody who connects to their intuition because intuition is how God, the divine, the universe guides us. And the Hierophant is the holy person, the physical representation of God, the divine, the universe on earth, whatever it means to you. So you see there's a big message of you are being guided, you are being protected um, on this journey. It is time for you to be in your power. Now the Queen of Wands can be certainly advancement in terms of success and business. She trusts her instincts to make decisive choices. It might well be that you are, you know, making a decision in terms of an opportunity being presented to you as well. But this is somebody who understands how to really bring growth into their life by taking action, by focusing their efforts, their passions towards bringing real growth and success in their lives. So very powerful energy of, of being in your power, Aries, because it is time to step into your light. And I'm, I'm going to move to this card. The Three of Swords is when you've been deeply hurt. For some of you, and it won't be for everybody, you know, we have, it could have been a Libra. You were deeply hurt, let down, could have been in the workplace, could have been in love, whatever this was. Um, <clears throat> you needed to see the truth of the situation. You needed to see the truth of this person or someone's actions towards you in order to really step into your light. Um, for, you know, for some of you, this could have been the lesson that you needed to learn in order for you to really align with who you truly are, be in your power. Yeah. Find out what you're made of. So... There's a big message of, yes, this, this could have hurt. Somebody's actions could have hurt you. Some truths could have hurt, difficult truths that you learned on this journey. And it may have caused some imbalance. Like I said, there may have been some indecision. At the beginning and end of your reading there has been indecision, not understanding how to bring great expansion opportunity into your life. This is somebody who juggles two coins and dances at the same time. And while they're doing that, there's no growth. And yet this is Jupiter in Capricorn, the Wheel of Fortune, wanting to bring great expansion, good luck, good fortune into someone's life. But they can't do while they still juggle juggle the same two coins around. The, I feel for some of you this is about allowing yourself to end whatever has caused you an imbalance. It is about regrouping, taking that step back, allowing yourself to let go of things that no longer serve you and move towards things that do, Aries, because Absolutely, the judgment card can be about karmic lessons. It is powerful karma being behind you if you've been ill-treated in some way. I mean, wow, there is some powerful justice here as well. Um, it is time to let all that go, give it up to the universe. The universe always rights wrongs. And for you to step into your light. This is a powerful awakening, Aries. Um, a really powerful awakening for some of you. Because even in this energy, there is the opportunity now for real expansion um, and absolutely um, a new path being revealed that brings greater happiness, joy, success, contentment, 
contentedness uh, and brings you wealth. Now, you know, wealth can be, in terms of finances, absolutely, finances, money, getting to the place where you want to be. But I also feel you are absolutely coming into your own now and bringing greater value into your life. This week, there could be some opportunity being presented to you that brings you joy, something that you really want. It's guided to you. And it's the law of karma that's on your side. Because this is the universe saying, this is what you deserve, following on from what some of you might have been through. Okay, what do we have as a final message for Aries? Final message for Aries. You know, when the magician appears, Aries, you're ready. You are ready. Well, the cards aren't coming out. I'll, uh, I'll shuffle a bit more. Oh, there we are. <laughs> we have Jude's song. A reminder for even the most, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases. You can find peace within the strangest of places. <laughs> I'm going to pull one more. I certainly feel for some of you, you are making peace. You are seeing that way forward now. You ready? And you know, you don't stay down for long, Aries. Yeah. What was I saying? Reasons to celebrate. Card of celebration, three of cups. We have the celebration card over here as well. A toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups in happiness. Three cheers are done. Celebration is near. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Aries, and I will see you next time. Thank you.